My teeth are yellow and now I keep using white ink to paste, but why doesn't that work? I'm Dr. Olga Dolgier here at Sloan Valley Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. I'm board certified pediatric dentist. And we get this question a lot. Why my teeth are yellow? Why my kids' brand new teeth are yellow? So let's discuss this, let's dig in. Let's find out does white thing toothpaste actually works or not? All right, what are the reasons for yellow teeth? Number one, it can be just a natural color. In children, brand new adult teeth, they have slightly yellowish color compared to milk teeth, baby teeth. Baby teeth are bright and white and adult teeth are slightly yellow. So it could be your natural color. Number two, you can have a cavity and you might not know, or you're not brushing good and you have a lot of plaque on your teeth and they look yellow. So those are reasons also can be tartar buildup if you're not brushing good systemically, or it can be that the nerve inside the tooth is not vital, it's a dead tooth and it has a yellow color. Or for example, you had root canal and the tooth change color because there's no vitality in that tooth. So there's so many different reasons for yellow teeth. So does whitening toothpaste do anything to you or not? The main reason whitening toothpaste does not work is because it might not have hydrogen peroxide. Or if it does have hydrogen peroxide as a bleaching agent, it has very small concentration. So whitening toothpaste is good for removing superficial stain. So some of us who drink coffee, tea, wine, maybe they would get a lot of kind of grayish dark stain and whitening toothpaste actually works good for stain removal, but it does not change the color of your teeth. So if you constantly drinking coffee, for example, and you always get that stain, you might use whitening toothpaste and it just removes the stain. But why it's not very good for you? So whitening toothpaste might be very irritating to your teeth and gums because it has a lot of abrasive agents. When they remove stain, it's actually particles, which is abrasive for enamel. So you technically, if you're brushing hard, you might remove part of your enamel, superficial layer of it. And also it might have very harsh chemicals to remove the stain. And a lot of patients and moms and kids complain that whitening toothpaste, and I know personally myself, if I use it long enough, my teeth kind of sting. They feel very, very sensitive to cold. So it could be that peroxide, if that toothpaste has a small concentration, might be irritating as well. So whitening toothpaste is not my favorite one. It does not really help with stain, with the color of your teeth, and also may be irritating. So that's the reasons for not using whitening toothpaste. What can you use to change the color? You can have bleaching. So bleaching, as I said before, for kids older than 10, usually is safe to bleach. For adults, you can have in-office professional bleaching, you can have cold trays, you can have over-the-counter bleaching. It all depends when do you want to achieve good results. If you do zoom whitening in the office, it's a quick result. So you stay there for a certain period of time and you come out of dental office with bright and white smile. Your teeth will hurt probably because of the sensitivity of that uh, bleaching agent. Uh, if you do at home bleaching, same thing, you might have um, to take breaks periodically, but if you do it consistently for seven to 10 days, it will be a lot of sensitivity, but you will reach good results. What are other reasons, uh, what kind of toothpaste you should use in case you decided to bleach your teeth. So we usually recommend toothpaste, which Sensodyne as a brand works because it does have additional ingredient which actually prevents hypersensitivity. Or Opalescence is one of the um, good um, brands and they actually would uh, have already two, like a kit with bleaching trays and toothpaste with that, with that ingredient which actually prevents sensitivity. So you're gonna start brushing your teeth with that Sensodyne or that special toothpaste you're buying with a trays. We have them in office and um, you start pre-brushing. So you brush, brush, brush with a toothpaste, teeth become kind of um, desensitized and then you go with bleaching and then the end they will become much wider and not as sensitive. So it depends what kind of technique you're using and what you're doing. So the answer to your question is, I would 
not use whitening toothpaste personally. I don't know what your preference are. And I would stick with probably bleaching periodically at home bleaching trays, which you can purchase at your dentist because it has the right concentration of peroxide so you can achieve the needed result faster. And it does not hurt your teeth as much as, uh, because it comes with a special toothpaste and so on. So share with me, how was your experience with whitening to space? Do you like your whitening to space or not? What is your opinion? I cannot wait to know. Thank you so much for watching and share this video if you like it.